Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tiny Tim's Minis. This week we're going to be making a statue out of an action figure. Let's get it. So this week we have a really easy build today. Uh, I had something else planned for this week, but a lot of my footage got corrupted. So if you guys want to check out what I was supposed to make, check it out on Instagram. But this week we're making a statue out of an old action figure. Really easy to make, uh, didn't take all too long. I uh, just, um, I wanted to make something kind of surreal, um, very dystopian kind of feeling. That's what I had with my other piece and I kind of wanted to bring it over onto this one. And I think it came out pretty cool. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get it. Let's start off by building some good old plaster blocks. Then I mix it up until it's thick. Pour it into whatever shaped silicone mold you want. I chose a classic square. Give it a few taps, get them air bubbles out, and then get it nice and even. Now we're going to get our subject for today. But for him to be diorama ready, he needs to go under. The surgery was a success. Now we have business to attend to. The plaster blocks are nice and dry, so we grab some PVA glue and get our foundation made. Before I put the primer on this man, I first had to do a few things. He had some flappy bitties on him, so I grabbed the super glue and made him nice and flat. Now for some more elective surgery. I wanted the statue to look nice and worn, so I sawed his arm off. He had some cracks in him, so I filled him with some homemade joint compound. I did the same to the arm. He was way too shiny and I was jealous, so I had to take him down a notch and give him a good sanding. Now it's spray time. I grabbed my paints and it was time for some mixing. 
I looked at a bunch of reference photos of old stone statues and I came up with my color scheme. The one I picked had a bunch of blotches of dark and light gray on them mixed with some greens and browns. He still had some cracks on him, so I mixed up some sculpt mold to hide his joints and also give him more of a rock texture. My man still had a bit of shine to him, so I mixed in some matte medium to the paint to take away any excess gloss the spray paint might have left behind. His base coat is nice and matte. Now it's time to add some splotches to him. There wasn't any real technique to this. Just add the colors to where you see fit. It's good to have a reference photo with you when you're doing this. Once I added all of the stone color to the piece, I gave him a black and brown wash to get into the nooks and crannies that my paint couldn't reach. The thing that really brought it all together was the dry brushing of white. It made all of the edges pop and it added that stone finish that I was looking for. Now it's time for the terrain. As always, I use Sculpt Mold. It's a fantastic base for most miniatures. It dries quick and doesn't shrink all that much during the drying process. I push the piece into the Sculpt Mold before it dries. This is to mark where he will be sitting. Then I put his arm in there to integrate it into the scenery. The next bits are simple. I give the base a brown paint. Put down a base of PVA glue, then let the specks fly.
After that dries overnight, I lay down some more PVA. Then add some bright green flock grass. I wanted to give it a surreal look and the brightness of the green made it pop. While the PVA was still drying, I added the finished statue and some extra details. I painted the edges black. And bam. Like I said, guys, super easy build today. Didn't take all that much time, a little bit more patience than anything. Uh, just letting the paint dry, making sure everything looked nice and even, uh, making sure everything was placed correctly. But I think it came out pretty cool. Uh, you can use the same technique if you guys want to make like a brass statue, a silver statue, a gold statue. The technique is the same, but you just have to do different paints. Uh, but again, really fun, easy build. Um, if there's anything you guys like to see in miniature, let me know, comment down below. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I have a new video coming out every 1st and 15th. Hit that bell to get a notification when those videos do come up. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that at Tiny Tim's Minis. Uh, and make sure you guys go make some miniatures yourself. Go make some dioramas. If you make anything, let me know. I'd love to see what you guys make. Alright, well, I will see you guys next time with the new miniature.